Mariachi is a musical celebration of Mexican culture that requires practice, preparation, and of course, performance. This tradition is centuries old and typically male-oriented. But Veronica Robles, Nicole Edgecombe, Estefania Reyes, Bengisu Gokse, and Ana Diaz are challenging part of that tradition, members of the first all-female mariachi band in Boston. I decided to start the all-women mariachi band just to make sure that other girls and other women em uh, feel empowered with this music and also to get inspired. At 14, Roble started performing mariachi music in Mexico with her grandmother. I'm really very interested in making sure to pass on this tradition. Fortunately, she had musical talent passed down to her. Robles both sings and plays a special guitar called the vihuela. The vihuela has a hunchback and uh, it's small as you can see and only have five strings. And this is the, um, the one that makes the rhythm. She and her band perform in traditional mariachi suits. I love this traje de charro, I just love it. It really empowers me because I don't show anything. As you can see, I'm covered uh, bottom to top and, and I feel sexy with that, uh, with that outfit. Robles' mission of empowerment doesn't stop when the music does. In 2013, she founded the Veronica Robles Cultural Center. The East Boston space hosts dance classes, enrichment programs, and holiday celebrations. We want to pass on this uh, tradition of love, mostly the opportunity to gather people together, arts and culture, that makes a statement of how we should live the life, rescue our humanities. Creating and spreading cultural awareness is something that's become especially important for the Latino community in recent years. I decided that pursue more seriously the mission of also making sure that everybody, not only Latinos, but everybody understood that our cultures are very rich and that we bring very important things to the world. And the work she's done for the community is getting noticed. In 2017, a mural was dedicated to Robles and Italian immigrant Carmelo Schide as part of the city's To Immigrants with Love program. The immigrant community of the 30s is no different than the immigrant community of 25 years ago or for today. Many of the people that came to these shores came to these shores for a better life for their family to send money back home. That story has not changed today. The Mexican government also recently recognized Robles with an Otley Award, one of the highest honors given to citizens outside the country. The Otley means, means uh, those who made a path for others. And yeah, I'm very proud of it. Robles maintains this perpetual positive energy, despite having suffered personal tragedy. I lost my only child when she was 18 years old, and then I, I had cancer, so I'm a cancer survivor. Survivor. I have struggled in life, and I like to share my happiness instead of my sadness. A powerful instrument for an all too important message. I use culture as a powerful tool to conquer hearts and not changing minds. And if you like what you just heard, Veronica Robles and her band are available for concerts, weddings, and school visits. And there's a new home for the Veronica Robles Cultural Center. They've actually moved to a historic old city library branch on Meridian Street in Eastie, so they have a new and wonderful home. All right, coming up, a story about a rebel with a...